What's going on everyone? Welcome back for another video. In this one, we're gonna be covering some elements of streaming. I know, I haven't really covered streaming that really like that much on this channel, but we have to start somewhere, right? So I figured what better way than to start with the service that I use pretty much every time I stream, and that is RestStream. RestStream gives me the ability to stream across multiple platforms at the same time and has a full suite of streaming tools that you can access right from your internet browser. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get right into it. Let's go. All right, so getting right into this, RestStream Studio allows you to broadcast professional live streams directly from your browser to over 30 social platforms, including YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, all that stuff. And just to get this out of the way now, this video is sponsored by RestStream, so I wanted to be clear and upfront about that, but honestly, I really jumped at the opportunity to work with these guys because I love their service and I use it every time I stream now. So some of you may be saying, man, I don't even really know how to use complicated streaming software like OBS Studio or Streamlabs, for instance, or maybe you don't even stream games or anything and you don't need all of like the crazy features and layouts and like stinger transitions and whatever that OBS Studio or Streamlabs has. Um, and that's totally okay as you can actually use RestStream service with or without one of the popular streaming softwares out of there. So that's really cool. They have that. And this is also because they have their own integrated live studio that you can use right from your internet browser. And with a few clicks of your mouse, you can be online engaging with your audience. So let's go ahead and hop over to the computer back here and I'll show you guys how this works. All right, everybody, so here we are in RestStream's live studio. So uh, I'm basically just gonna kind of show you guys first how you guys kind of start a stream period. Um, well, we're going to go first using a streaming service, not through their live studio, uh, because maybe some of you are curious on how you actually just straight up stream to multiple, uh, locations at once anyway. So the first thing you want to do to get yourself started on this, um, is actually just go to your destinations tab. And from there, all you have to do really is add your channels that you want to stream right here. So you can see right now that I'm already always streaming to Twitch and YouTube. So if you guys are familiar with my streams, you guys will know I, st I stream to those two locations always. Uh, and you have little toggles, you can toggle them off, on, uh, you can turn them off and on right there. You can update the titles simultaneously. And if you have a channel that you still wanted to add, all you gotta do is click add channel. You have all these streaming services right here. Uh, like see, like if I don't have my Facebook up here, I can just go like that. And all you gotta do is connect Facebook and then you're able to add that channel. So that's pretty much it right there. All right, and real quick, I'm gonna show you how you actually enable this multi-stream feature uh, in like one of the popular streaming services like Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. And more specifically, the one I use is OBS Studio, so that's what we're gonna use real quick. So you can actually share your screen in their live studio. So we're gonna use that right now just to make it easier for me. So let's go ahead and share my other screen and you guys are gonna see a bit of a tunnel vision right now. It's gonna look a little funny, but you guys get the idea. So anyway, I know it looks weird, but just bear with me here. So all you got to do really is go to settings and go to your output. I'm sorry, not your output, your stream. And if you go to the service right here, you have all your different streaming services within uh, uh, OBS Studio. Uh, you'll select RestStreamIO RTMP, and then you can actually just connect your account and it will automatically connect you to the streaming service. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna show you my information, obviously, so I'll skip to the next part. All right, and then once you put your information in, it'll say authorize OBS Studio to use your account with Restroom. You say allow. And as soon as it does it, it, it connects your account, click apply, and you will see. All right, so I know this looks funky anyway, but what I, what I basically do is usually take their chat window and I put it in my OBS Studio window. And then I use this little bar right here to show uh, my two services that I use. And like, keep that in mind, guys. If you guys are streaming to more than one service, they will all populate right here and they'll show whether they're online or not. So it's a great way to monitor um, if your services are working uh, and connecting and everything like that. So let's go ahead and stop showing our screen and go right back to the live studio real quick. Let's go ahead and stop that. Enable our camera real quick. So here we are. We're back. Okay. So... Now that we're back in the Live Studio Pro, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys pretty much uh, how you kind of do this. So 
um, the features of this. You can do all sorts of stuff. You have your chat in here, obviously. And like I said, you're going to be streaming to multiple platforms. So uh, you might be asking me, uh, what happens when you chat? Do you just send it to one at a time? Uh, no, you actually are able to send your chat messages to all your platforms. Like you can see right here, I already did one, but I'll do another one. I'll just say hi there. And you'll see that it will go to both Twitch and YouTube because I am connected to both of those destinations right there. Um, and obviously I'm offline right now, but it still works. Even when you're offline, you can still test it out. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys right now. So um, yeah, it will show your chat messages to both or you know all of your streaming services, whatever they may be. So that's really cool. And uh, it'll make sure that um, everybody that is watching your stream will see your messages. And along with that, when somebody uh, is watching your stream, they also can chat with you and you will see a chat window pop up from either one uh, showing where their chat message is from. And I'm gonna try to do this right now and see if I can do it. Um, I don't know if I actually can, let me see. Yeah, actually I can. So here, I'm gonna send myself a message from Twitch really quick. I'll say Twitch message. Did I, did I totally spelled all that wrong. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, Twitch message. There we go. Let's see if it pops up right here. And there we go. You'll see that right there, we have a message coming straight from just Twitch saying the same message. So very cool, you guys. It'll show you uh, where everybody is viewing your stream from, um, and you can see it all within your live studio right here. You can uh, you can display captions uh, in the actual Live Studio Pro, so you can just do this and show like maybe, yeah, like this, like a social media link or something like that, or you can put something like this that shows, you know, whatever you want, basically. It'll put some kind of caption right here. You can uh, type in what you want, add your own personal caption. And then you can also place graphics within this thing, so you can put like your own logo on there if you want. So if I say show that, there you go. You can see that my RE Visuals logo is right there. Very cool. Um, and then you can put different overlays. I don't have one that's the custom size that they suggest. So I'm just gonna show you guys this one. You can kind of put like a little overlay over top of yourself while you're talking. And then say you wanted to like hide yourself uh, and disable your camera, you can put yourself a little background right here. Uh, so I use my stream offline uh, little, little screen right there to show you guys that. Uh, so when you disable your camera, it's not as black. It'll actually have some kind of like thing on the background. So then I can enable my camera and it goes away. So very cool right there. And then you can kind of um, uh, kind of show who's participating in your stream on the stream. Then you can pick the different background colors, all that kind of stuff. And then another thing that also helps your ease of use here is you can actually go to your setup tab and you can type in uh, a title and description and go ahead and press this update button and it will update every one of your destinations with the right title and description. So uh, if you guys wanted to do that to kind of like streamline your titles and descriptions, you can use this feature too and it will make it very easy for you. Very cool stuff. And then you guys already saw, you can share your screen with somebody. Um, and that brings me to my next thing is that you can actually invite a guest to your stream. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit up my buddy Tom real quick and I'm gonna invite him to our little live studio right here. And I'm gonna show you guys, you can have somebody else in there at the exact same time. So we'll do that here in just a second. Okay, so we have Tom in the Discord right now. Say hello, Tom. What's up, everybody? All right, Tom is here. Okay, so we're gonna figure, I've never done this before. So we're gonna figure this out right now. So it says to invite guests, you just press this. I'm gonna copy this link. All right, Tom, I'm gonna give it to you in the Discord. All right, so once you do that, let's see if you pop up on my screen because I haven't seen you on there yet. I'm not sure if you have to press a button or what. Oh, I see you. Okay, there we go. You uh, you pop up down below. Okay, now, see, once again, guys, never used this before, so here we go. Uh, you can use either this, uh, looks like two different types of um, ways to orient it. And then, so Tom's, Tom's all grayed out because he's backstage right now, but we can see him. Uh, and then oh, I guess okay. when we want to put him on stream, we just basically go bang. Oh. And there's Tom. What's, What's up? up? There he is. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Hold on. So we have double audio. Let me. Let me. Let me. Should we shut off Discord? Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect from Discord. Okay, disconnect. <clears throat> so I need to. Okay. Yeah, I can still see you. I can orient it differently. Hold on. Oh, there you can. There you are. Oh, look at that. And it used my. It uses my background to. Uh, yeah, as the background oh, for the badass. stream. This is actually pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Hey, Tom. So the reason why I wanted to invite Tom to do this was because uh, Tom actually told me about Reststream in the first place. And uh, funny, it's coming full circle now that uh, we're doing this video for Reststream right now. So uh, here's Tom, right. here's me. 
If you guys don't know Tom, I will make sure I put his stuff in the link in the description so you guys can follow him on Twitch, Mixer, and uh, YouTube as well. Wait, are you doing YouTube yet, Tom? Yeah, but I haven't really made any okay. videos. I kind of just have it on there just uh, okay. for future purposes. But. Okay, well, we'll put your stuff on there so that way we can get you some uh, some subscribers and followers. Essentially, help me out with this. But yeah, guys, here we go. Look, I mean, uh, like, you know what? If you guys wanted to use this for some kind of chat stream or maybe if you're a business or something like that and you guys wanted to, you know, get a live stream going for your business, perfect little application for it. So whoop, there you whoop. go. All sorts of stuff. And again, if you guys need to change something while you're in the middle of your stream, like the graphic or whatever it is that I have right here, I can just literally turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on. Doesn't matter. Super intuitive. And if we're getting tired of Tom and we don't want to see him anymore, bang, he's gone. And then, you know, if we miss Tom, bang, he's we're back. back in, coach. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> but that's really it. So yeah, there you go, guys. It's, it works. And here, here, I wanted to show you guys this too. If... If you have any issues, I noticed this too, they have a little button down at the bottom of the screen here. All you gotta do is press that and chat with somebody and tell them what your problem is and they'll fix it for you. Pretty oh, cool, yeah. they have you it right your, there. Uh, your chat's on there too? Yeah, yeah, so you know, actually, yeah, so it will show the chat real quick. Tom, so I don't uh, see, I can't see the chat on my side. You can't see the chat on your side. I wonder if that's her. It's probably just because I'm hosting the thing, but probably. Yeah, it's 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 my oh, two. I, I see it. Never mind. There's a button you can click. Okay, so you do see the chat. Uh, I see it. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We both can see the chat. I like that. Cool. Um, and yeah, do you want to? Uh, so yeah, again, if I go to like my Twitch and I say like I'll go hi Tom, and then <laughs> we go back to it. There it is. It comes from my my Twitch. There we go. Okay, and then once everything is figured out, you have all your overlays over top of it, um, you're ready to go, you have your headphones on. Uh, I always like to check my destinations tab just to make sure that my channels are added and everything is turned on. Uh, you can go back to the live studio tab, uh, just make sure your camera's on, everything's good to go, and all you gotta do from there is just press the go live button and it will automatically start streaming to all of your platforms simultaneously. Very easy, you guys, and really, really fun to use. All right, so that's Restroom Studio and a few tips to hopefully get you guys set up and running with it. I'll be sure to link the site down below in the description so you can head over there and get started with it if you're interested in using it. Also, be sure to tell me down in the comments if this is something that you guys would actually use or uh, if you'd use their studio or another streaming software like OBS or Streamlabs in conjunction with this software. Uh, I'd love to hear from all of you and see what you guys are thinking about it. And of course, if you found this video helpful in any way, please be sure to drop the video a like and that helps me out a ton and it makes the YouTube gods happy. Along with that, if you enjoy my content content and you want to be a part of the visuals fam, make sure you get subscribed and turn those notifications on so you can always know when a new stream, using Restream of course, sorry I had to, I had to throw that in there, or a new video will be going live. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today you guys. I will see you in the next one. Later.